What's up, motherfuckers? What the fuck is going on? What's really going on, motherfuckers? What the fuck is up? So first of all, I want to send a shout out to Isla. She sent me a DM on my Instagram, Mario and Birdie, Mario with an H and Birdie. Um, she's like, you know what? I really fuck with you. Like your videos, the shit that I say, really, I could relate to it. She's a Chicana, Ocha. She's from here, Cali. And she says I'm like literally saying her story by like, the shit that I say. I know people are like, what the fuck? But you know what? I Some people relate to me and that's what matters to me. That motherfuckers rock with me, you know? They really know, they understand what the fuck I'm trying to say. But anyways, um, I had a girl named Flor send me a Snapchat. How do you call it? DM? A message through Snapchat asking me if I could make a video about this subject. Um, she has a daughter and, um, her daughter was not gonna fight with the, another girl. So the other girl went to her house and, you know, was like, get the fuck out, let's get down, da 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 And her as a mother, she said, go do it, you know, go fight that bitch. And she's like, am I a bad mother or should I just have kept my child inside? Like, what do you think? And this is a touchy, touchy subject to me. Because it's confusing, you know? I'm a mother now, I'm not a fucking child anymore. And if somebody ever came looking for Mandy, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, tell your child, go handle your motherfucking business. You can't get punk. I tell that to Mandy all the motherfucking time. You know, some little kids, you know, they call her a wet bag, or they call her a beaner, or they say dumb shit like that. You know, I tell her, say something back, say some shit back, or you're gonna get punk once you get punk once you're gonna get punk forever trust me that's happened to me so many motherfucking times in high school i had i had some some black what was it converse and i had it for the whole year and i would always get punk you know bitches be like oh my god that's so sad people don't have money to buy shoes like who the fuck doesn't have shoes who the fuck doesn't have money for shoes and I didn't say nothing because I felt like, I felt like a poor person. I just felt like I was oh, this broke bitch that didn't have money. But I mean, at the moment I wasn't working and I was going to ask my mom for something she couldn't afford. Because at that time I had a stepdad and he was a little bitch. And I just didn't want to ask for anything. So that bitch kept punking me and punking me and punking me. Until one time my bitch got tired and I said, what the fuck you say, you fat, ugly bitch? At least I don't got money, but at least I'm cute. You ugly bitch and you have an ugly ass heart. And from then... Her fucking face was like, you know, and she never said anything to me again. Because I feel like as a parent, you have to let your children fight their own battles. And this girl said, I have to let, am I a bad parent because I let my child um, fight? Bitch, sometimes you gotta let them fight. Sometimes you gotta, you know, a motherfucker has to learn how to fight. Like, me growing up, my mom would always tell me, if you get in a fight and you lose, you're gonna get your ass kicked when you get home again for losing. Like, put him up, put him up, bitch. Sometimes, I know I've heard stories where it's like the mom and the daughter are fucking fighting somebody else. Like, that's ratchet. You know, if your daughter's gonna fight somebody else, first of all, no motherfucking weapons, no fucking bats, no motherfucking, like, turning a bitch on fire. Because there's been incidents where the mother and the daughter got a fucking, um, hot oil and they threw it on this girl and they fucked up her whole face and i feel if you're gonna fight somebody if you're gonna fight your own fight all you need is this you know and all that pulling hair and all that only bitches pull hair seriously when i was in um who was it when i would used to take the city bus to school i always had this friend when I, i'm like a little short bitch i'm five two but i had this tall ass friend um she was always with me when she was with me None of these bitches would talk shit to me. They would have just looked the other way. But one time, these bitches caught me slipping. This bitch called Lauren and her little sidekick caught me slipping. And I was already going to go in the bus. Going to walk in the bus. Up in the bus. And they're like, Erica, you're a bitch. You only talk shit when you're with your big ass fat friend. And I was already getting in the bus on my way home. But my little brain was like, are you going to let these bitches talk shit to you like that? Are you really going to do that? Hell motherfucking no. So my ass got off the bus. I spent my one dollar for nothing. And I walked to him like, what the fuck did you say? <laughs> I was scared. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not acting like I'm this hardcore bitch because I'm not. I'm a little bitch. I don't like to fight. 
but if I have to, you know, I will. So I walked up to them and these bitches, both of them, they grabbed me and they dropped me on the floor and they're fucking kicking me and I'm trying to get up and they stopped my ass down and it was two of them bitches. They weren't short, but they were white, you know? And they're fucking kidding me. I'm like, oh hell no, and everybody's fucking like watching me. Some of this motherfucker with his flip phone trying to record and shit. My co-worker, Philip. And um, I was like, oh hell no. So I I noticed one of them had braces. So I got my foot and I kicked her right in the fucking face. She's like, ow! And the bitch started bleeding. I think I fucked up. You know braces, you're very sensitive right here. So she was like bleeding, and once she saw blood, she stopped. But then guess what? After these bitches saw that I wasn't fucking scared of their dumb asses, they left me alone. And yes, I think that if you're a parent and somebody's punking your child, you need to like let them, you know, confront the motherfuckers. Because in life, you're always gonna have people that are gonna wanna try you. You're always gonna have bitches. You're always gonna have hypocrites. You're always gonna have enemies. She's muscles, he goes to su puta madre trying to fuck with you. And guess what? Either ignore them, but if you have to face them, you have to speak the fuck up. Because, you know, sometimes you just have to defend your motherfucking self because nobody's going to do it for you. And like I tell Mandy, every time she's having a hard time in school or having a hard time in life, she's always like, Mommy, you know, like two years ago, she's like, Mommy, can you please change me schools? Can you please go to another school? And I said, and what is that going to do? That's not going to do nothing. Because guess what? In that school, somebody's going to punk you too. There's always going to be evil motherfuckers in this motherfucking world forever. So I'm not going to change from one school to another school to another school. You're going to have to confront that shit, get through that shit, and learn that shit. You know, learn about whatever you went through and you'll get better at it. And look at her now. We're her little friends and shit. Now she's all happy she's like mommy I, I have friends and she's all good and da, 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 da. because you have to let your children fight their own battles and you know it's, it hurts some of us parents if you see your child getting down getting her ass kicked that's gonna hurt me too if i ever see mandy sophia or baby mark getting their ass kicked but i'm gonna say you know what the fuck get your ass up you know and you're okay you're not gonna die but i mean if you see your child getting fucking their head pounded and shit i'm not saying let that shit happen i'm just saying let your children fight their own motherfucking battles because battles, that gives them character. You know, that gives them that toughness that we need in life to get through it. But anyways, this is my little two cents, bitch. Um, to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace.